Now we will practice drafting advertisements, display, classified, when we meet. However, in the meanwhile, you must uh, cultivate this habit of going through advertisements. Now, going through advertisements would also increase my vocabulary. It will help me pick up relevant phraseology. Now, this picking up relevant phraseology is very important. We all, we pick up phrase, phrases from here and there and everywhere and and paste them or make use of them in what we write. So, I have to be conscious of I have to keep my eyes, ears and mind wide open to the phrases. Good chunks of meaningful words arranged together or put together, strung together. So these have to be picked up and I can only find them in when I read quality advertisements, live advertisements. So <clears throat> as in the case of notes, we note making we practice when we meet and so same same thing uh, uh, holds with advertisements. Now we move on to the next question, which is grammar. Now in class 11th, only in class 11th, not in class 12th, you have grammar per se. Otherwise, in class 12, we don't have any such test item. And this I said in the big uh, in the previous slide. Uh, <clears throat> includes uh, determiners, tenses, clauses, models, and change of voice. And you are all familiar with all these. <coughs> By way of, but yeah, definitely I'm not going to take up determiners and modals which you are familiar with. I will take you through tenses and by way of tenses I'll take you through sequence of tense, which is what is tested in the in the in the edit detection in the editing tasks or closed passages that you get in exams sequence of tenses and then we we'll, I also plan to take up clauses now in order to understand tenses or sequence of tenses rather tenses we are all familiar with I plan to take up sequence of tenses I need to understand clause and in order to understand the word clause I need to understand the word phrase and in order to understand the word phrase, I need to understand one word which is called verb. A verb. So we'll have to go backwards. You know, and our landmark and our, our, the most important landmark is sequence of tenses. So in order to reach there, I have to start from finite verb. And once I'm through, once we are through, once we've comprehended this concept of finite verb, it will help us understand a phrase, a clause, and then I can very easily move on to sequence of tenses. Now, <clears throat> and thereafter other important, uh, other important aspects of other test items of grammar can be understood easy, very, very easily. Now, Sequence of tenses, as the name suggests, sequence of tenses, as the name suggests, this particular important topic, sequence of tenses, as the name suggests, is nothing but an order. of tenses in a sentence not in any sentence definitely not in any sentence definitely not in any sentence and this particular presentation presumes whereas I'll fill in the grey areas as in as and where they seem to occur but this particular presentation presumes that you know certain, you are in the know of certain important grammatical concepts. Which, whereas I'll, I told you an effort would be made to uh, fill in the loopholes as in where they seem to be there. However, detailed explanation would be taken up in class. So, sequence of tenses, as I said, is an order. 
is an order of tenses, is an arrangement of tenses, not in any sentence, definitely not in any sentence, but only in this kind of sentence, a complex sentence. Now, in order to understand, yes, we've come across, we have to traverse another important landmark. In order to understand sequence of tenses, I have to go back to finite verb. From finite verb, I move on to phrases. From phrases, I move on to clauses. From clauses, I move on to sequence of tenses. But between clauses and sequence of tenses, there is yet another important landmark. That is, understanding different types of sentences. Only then will I be able to understand this concept of sequence of tenses. Now, sentences are of three different kinds, of which kinds, not types. Sorry, types. These are types. These are types of sentences. Because types subsumes or includes the word kinds. So these are types of sentences. There are three types of sentences. First is, of which complex is one type, a simple sentence. Second is a compound sentence. And third is a complex sentence. So these are three types of sentences. These are three types of sentences. Here you are. Simple, compound and complex sentences. Now in order to understand what a simple sentence is, in order to understand what a compound and a complex sentence is, I must understand the concept of, as I said, the most important concept of, or the most important concept of a finite verb. And about which you've already been made to understand in note making because note making does not include sentences or incomplete sentences preferably words or phrases wherever you have a sentence you will have a finite verb there is a very distinct clear-cut grammatical connection or connect so in order to understand these i need to understand what a finite verb is and if you recall, I told you, any word that helps me identify the tense is called a finite verb. Alright, there may be one question, which is, if somebody, uh, somebody asks what a verb is, then does he really mean finite verb or does he mean any other kind of verb? You must understand that again verbs are also of two kinds finite and non-finite verbs. These are also of two kinds. These are also of two kinds. Verbs, that is. So if anyone asks you, if anyone asks you to point out a verb in a particular sentence, then he or she means finite verb. He or she means finite verb, unless he or she specifies. Because this is the this is one word which helps you identify the tense. That means if anyone has a, if anyone asks you to point out the verb that is the finite verb, if he or she hasn't specified, in that case he or she wants you to find out or help him or her find out the tense of the verb and the tense the sentence is in. So we come we come back and non-finite verbs are words which appear like verbs but they don't tell you the tense. You must understand one very important thing that the purpose of a verb, the function, the property of a verb, the property of a verb, every part of speech has its property. The property of a verb is to help the reader, help the reader understand or identify the tense.